happening guys? It's day 47 and I think I've had what could be the worst sleep of my year so far. I've got about three hours. So I went to bed at about three o'clock and then the sun came up at six and there's no curtain on my balcony door. So it was just pshh. And then as soon as anyone else was up in the house, the walls are thinner than the bed sheets were. So yeah, it's a really tough, tough place to try and have a sleep. Kind of wishing we didn't move. Take the knock on the door over this. But it's at these moments where I remind myself why we're doing this. I, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. It's all an adventure, I guess. It's going to be the stories that we tell our kids and our grandkids. And discomfort is where you grow. And the, the worst experiences make for the best stories. So we're going to suck it up. We'll be fine. But today we've got a day off in LA. Our writing session got canceled, unfortunately. So we're gonna make some content. I'm gonna keep editing some videos and we're gonna see a little bit of LA. Oh, got Lucky. it. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> this place is falling apart. Just like my mental state. <laughs> ah, this is the nachos from the other day. Mm. These are great. Mm. Nice one. All right, we're on an adventure around LA. First stop, Griffith Observatory. <laughs> Muscles. Look at him go. It makes perfect sense that the gate <sighs> is broken. I thought we were at Disney World. Yeah. That's the Greek theater right there. I got you here. <laughs> a hawk nest over here. Isn't that the hawk nest? Well, you wouldn't believe it, but there's a city out there through the smog. Talk about rescue maneuvers. It's all about making fans one at a time. There it is. We made it to the top of the hill. We are now the kings of LA, along with about 7,000 other people. <laughs> nice little bit of uh, marketing for you here. There's that thing where you can actually remove people from the photos. This is the actual observatory hmm. where you can learn about how flat the earth is, Locke. Yeah, very flat, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned for this guy's well-being. I'm not too happy. So they've got a clock here, which is a pendulum. And the idea is that because the earth's turning, the pendulum starts to swing in different directions. So you can tell what the time is. Oh, that's pretty cool. On to the next thing. On to the next. Wow. Yeah, this is Hollywood, baby. I do. Very vandalized property. Apparently, this is one of the most expensive supermarkets in the world. 
I gotta check this out for myself. This girl must be a Shepherd fan. She's got all three of our colors in one. Quite an impressive suit selection. Well, I have to say the presentation is immaculate. Blue milk. Nano pure restructured hyper oxygenated water for wellness. Olive oil that personally attacks you. Ramen that makes you smarter. Radicchio Rosalba. What the hell is that? Anybody for their sea moss gel? Concentration gummies. Lucky I uh, found something for you. Um, but can we just talk about the lack of representation for males? Where's the penis health gummies? Well, I gotta say, that was absolutely insane. You can see why that's where the Kardashians shop. Everything was just insanely priced. Really, really nicely presented. But my goodness. You got a nice little green juice there. Mm. Health, health, health. There's that beautiful pink LA sky. Crazy how much smog is in the city there. Look at that. Well, we're back at home. Check out this beautiful LA sunset. Love that color. We decided to abort mission because the traffic was horrendous. Well, yeah, it was a fun trip out to the observatory, but then we just kind of drove around LA a little bit aimlessly, not knowing where to go and what to do, and decided to come home and do some more work. <laughs> so, a bit of a dud day, but that's okay. It's nice to get some rest after what yesterday was. Uh, and we're actually back in with Brock tomorrow, which is exciting. But for now, I'm going to go and grab dinner with Liam Clifford, who's our old buddy. He's a, a sound guy, production manager. He actually toured the world with us through Bombs Away uh, when Geronimo was at its peak. So it'll be really nice to catch up with him again. He lives in LA and he's uh, got a beautiful wife, Annie. And so we're going to go and have some ramen. So let's go and do that. All right, here I am, a little solo outing. I'm not sure how well it's lit, but I am here. <laughs> I'm alive. And I'm walking to Ramen to meet Liam Clifford and his wife, Annie. And I'll uh, film anything exciting that happens on the way, if anything at all. But it's Los Angeles, so I'm guessing there will be. <laughs> but uh, cheers, everybody. So just on the other side of this hedge, is Paramount Pictures. Couple of the uh, posters on the wall over there. Uh, movie magic, look at it. <laughs> I wonder if they pick up George's journal for a second season. Bit of overkill, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, that big line to get into the uh, movie studio. There's something going on. Maybe there's a premiere or something. Okay, Ramen Melrose. Looks like a pretty good spot for ramen. Here he is. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Guys, thanks for hanging with me on my day off in LA. I hope that uh, it was somewhat entertaining for you guys, but uh, tomorrow we're back in with Brock, so that should be a bit of fun again. But uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for now so I can edit the video and get some sleep. But I appreciate you guys as always. I'll see you tomorrow.